Greetings, Cindy Delecky here from Marketing To Go. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to flow copy around a picture. As you can see here, these two stories are all jacked up. You know, that doesn't look very good. So if you click on, hover over the article box, click on edit box, you can see that it's, um, number one, the picture is skewed. It's too large. You're gonna to need to fix that because it can obliterate inboxes, as MailChimp says. And this um, content box that they've got has the, the picture here option with the copy down here. So what I'm going to use is a text box. So I'm going to take that and drag it over here. That way I can put my pictures in with the text. And I'm going to make these two stories that don't flow nicely and um, flow very nicely in here. So let's go ahead and just save and close that box for now. Click edit. We're going to control A, control X, copy all that copy, edit, put it in here, and then save and close. Go back into this box here, control, copy, control, cut, and then go back into this one. Paste it here, and then we're going to add our pictures. And I always like to add this divider box in between stories, and you can make it, uh, you know, the spacing around it, the padding they call it, wide or, um, you know, not wide. Um, maybe let's darken that up a little bit. Looks like it's a gray. Click on your color box, color palette here. And let's just go some dark, a little bit darker. That looks better. It stands out on that uh, blue a little bit better. And then let's go get these pictures. And they've already been uploaded once. So click on this picture icon. They're going to be in our uh, template here. All right, so let's go and get that picture. Here we go. Justin, select. We're gonna, I always like to make them linkable, so we're gonna put our Facebook page there. And here, your uh, image of your uh, width of your MailChimp e newsletter, I think is around 600 pixels wide. So of course you want the picture to be a reasonable size. Let's do 225. And when you hit tab, it automatically resizes the height and go down a little bit. And here is where we're gonna align left and that is going to make our copy flow nicely around that picture and then I always like to do a little margin so your copy is not right up against the um, picture you know border so let's save and insert and that looks nice there and I think that is James James and we're going to delete this old box here and then let's put Justin in so I'm going to Click, I think, right here. Go to the insert image. Look for James. Select. And again, we want it to go somewhere, so this one's going to go to Facebook as well. Do the same size, 225. And he's going to align right. Kind of for a balanced look there. Let's do our margins and save and insert let's get rid of this one and let's do a nice hot headline here so how about uh, meet our newest team members okay so meet our newest team members and again this copy I'm going to control a and highlight that and let's just make this a little bit uh, darker. So it's going to be this tool here to automatic. Mm -hmm. Let's do this first black one. Oh, that's much nicer. And um, let's say meet James. And then how about say hello to Justin. Perfect. Okay, so that is how you flow copy nicely around a picture in MailChimp. 
Thanks for watching. This is Cindy Delecky, and for any more information, please visit our website at marketingtogo.biz.